Magical Butterflies, Part 1. Hello everybody, welcome to Cinemagic's Magical Butterflies Workshop. We're going to look at butterflies. Each of you will make your own colourful flying butterfly puppet. You will also work together to create a large artwork to hang up in your classroom. This video workshop will be in three parts. In part one, we'll design patterns, practice drawing butterflies and we will start making our puppets. In part two, we will paint our magical wings with swirls and dots of colour. And in part three, we will finish our puppets and stick all the butterflies together for the final piece. You can pause the video anytime and play back any bits. We have sped up some parts of the video, but please take your time and enjoy the activities. There are many different kinds of butterflies. What colours can you see? I can see... Yellow. I can see... Red. I can see... Blue. I can see... Pink. Red. Blue. Black. Let's now look for patterns. I can see spots, swirls, stripes, and zigzags. Perhaps you can spot other patterns and shapes. What do you think these look like? Do you think they look like eyes? Why do you think some butterflies have eye shapes? That's right, to scare away bigger animals. Let's draw. We'll need some scrap paper, sheets of A5 paper, pencils, felt tips and crayons. Take some scrap paper. Let's draw. We'll practice drawing some patterns to warm up. You can use colours if you wish. Circles, spots and dots. Swirls. Swirls are like circles, but they get bigger as you go round. Stripes. Wavy lines. Zigzags, these can be a bit tricky. But 
butterflies come in all shapes and sizes. But they all have a head chest and tummy and of course feelers on their heads these are also called antennae Now let's take a look at the shape of butterfly wings. This one is like a triangle. These look like long triangles. I think these wings look a bit like circles. These look spiky. Next, we'll take some scrap paper. I suggest A5 size again a pencil and scissors. You can get someone to help you do the cutting. Fold the paper like a birthday card. Open again. draw a head the top of the body like a small sausage and its tummy made from three little circles feelers on top of the head Now fold the sheet again, but this time folding the other way. We'll draw only one side of the wings. Remember we looked at different wing shapes. Let's draw a wing shape. When we open the paper, half a butterfly. Close this again. Now carefully cut just around the outline. I'm going to speed up the film, but please cut carefully and take your time. Both sides are exactly the same. Now let's practice our patterns. See if you can copy the pattern from one side to the other.
Put your butterfly to one side. Next we'll do something different. We will need some short lolly sticks, thin pipe cleaners for the feelers, little coloured pom-poms of different sizes and glue. The pipe cleaners will need to be around the same length of the stick. Take a small pom-pom for the head. Roll a larger one for the top part of the body to make it a sausage shape. And then add three tiny pom-poms for its tummy. What does that remind you of? Yes, that's right, just like a caterpillar. Here is a film of a caterpillar transforming into a butterfly. This can take a few days or even a few weeks. Take the stick, twist the pipe cleaner around the tip of the stick. Next, glue on the small pom-pom for the head. Followed by the larger one. And then the three small ones. Add tiny googly eyes if you have them. Don't worry if you don't have pom-poms. Little balls of tissue paper will be fine. Same with the feelers. You can twist thin strips of tissue paper. Allow the glue to dry before the next step. End of part one. Part two. Let's paint. In part one, we looked at different patterns, colours and shapes of butterfly wings and learnt to draw butterflies. We then started making our magical butterflies. In this part, we will be painting wings. Firstly, put your artwork from before safely to one side. We will need some covering on the table, an apron, paint, we suggest acrylic paint, a few lolly sticks. You can use brushes if you wish, but we think it would be fun to try painting with sticks instead. Sheets of A5 thin card or thick paper. You can also use some old greeting cards. Remember to roll up your sleeves. Take a sheet of paper. Fold. Fold out flat. We'll 
will start on one side I'm going to start with a swirl Make sure the paint's nice and thick How about a zigzag on the other side? Splodge I'll wipe my stick clean before using it with another colour Now fold the sheet together and open. Wow, that looks magical. We'll leave this to dry now. Let's paint a few more. Let them dry. End of part two. Part three. Let's create together. Can you remember what we did in parts one and two? We looked at the different kinds of butterflies and at the different shapes, colors, and patterns on their wings. We then started making our own butterflies. In this final part, we will finish our butterfly puppets and then we will put the other butterfly paintings together to make a giant artwork you can display in the classroom. Your painting should be completely dry. Carefully cut around the wings. If it makes it easier for cutting, you can draw an outline around the wings.
Make sure you don't cut the sheet in half. Choose your favourite wings for the puppet. We will need strong glue to stick the body and wings together. I'm going to use Sticky Fixers, which is very strong. For our puppets, we will tie the butterfly to a stick using thin string. For the class artwork, there are many ways you can display the butterfly paintings. Use a stapler to fasten the butterflies together. Perhaps a big circle. Or a big butterfly. Or in the shape of a child. Here are some examples of children's butterfly art. These children made their butterflies from gold and silver foil. Be creative and have fun! Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.